Did you know nearly 2.3 lakh Indians moved to Canada last year? Canada, one of the most popular study abroad destination, is ready for their 2024 intakes. And we at Leap Scholar have decided to bring all the information in one place so that you don't have to juggle with the resources to plan your next step forward. Hi, my name is Priya and in this video we'll be discussing everything you need to know to study in Canada. Their education system, university options, program details, documentation and much much more. But before we dive into that, make sure you subscribe to our channel because it's free just like our services. Also, if you need assistance to move to Canada, click on the link in the description box below and let our experts deal with the heavy work. Let's get started. Let us start with the education system. Canadian education system drastically varies from India. Bachelor's degrees are usually four years and there are two to three years of diploma as well at the undergraduate level. At PG level, you can get a one-year certificate, a two-year postgraduate diploma, a one-year master's or a two-year master's too. To study at the UG level, all universities accept 12th grade Indian students for diplomas and degrees. At PG level, students with one-year UG degree can go for PG diploma and certificates and those with four years UG can also opt for anything including masters. Some universities may also accept three years UG programs but the options there are limited. Now over to the major intakes in Canada. September, January and May are the major intakes in Canada but some institutions also offer four to five intakes as well every year. September or fall intake is the major intake followed by January or winter and May or spring. September intakes offer most of the courses for international students. January options are lesser and May options are very very limited. For Indian students, September and January are the ideal intakes. Let us talk about universities and colleges. Canada offers plenty of private and public colleges and universities. Universities grant degrees and colleges grant diploma, but there are a few exceptions. Universities of Toronto, British Columbia, McGill, Calgary, Alberta, Saskatchewan, Dalhousie, Manitoba, Weston, York and Waterloo are universities in Canada. Some of the famous colleges also include Douglas, Langra, Seneca, Humber, Centennial, Northern, Niagara, Sate, Sheridan, Columbia and Fenshaw. Great, let's head to program and co-op options. Canada offers a wide range of program for various subjects. If you want to do a one year, two year, three year or even four year program, there is something for everyone. The co-op option is the highlight of Canadian education system that lets you work for a Canadian employer time between three months to one year and you can get paid full time. You will not just earn money but also gain valuable experience. Many institutions have plenty of co-op options. Now let's discuss documentation and application. Let's start with UG. For UG programs, you will have to show 10th and 12th mark sheet, IELTS, PT or TOEFL scores and a passport copy. For bachelor's degree, you will also need to show SOP and LOR too. SAT and ACT scores will not be required for many of these institutions. For top ranking universities, you will also have to show extracurricular activities as the admissions will be highly competitive. Please note that you will also have to show a portfolio for creative courses. Conditional offer letters are also possible for many colleges and universities and will accept direct application for application fee ranging between $60 to $200. Over to PG applications and documents. For PG diploma and certificate, you will need to show academic documents, IELTS, PTE or TOEFL scores, passport, CV, work experience documents if any. For master's program, you will also have to show SOP and LORs too and many institutions may also want to see your GMAT and GRE scores. For creative courses, portfolio will be required. You can apply directly to the university and colleges you wish to study and the application fee will range somewhere between $50 to $250 depending on the institution. Cool, now let's discuss tuition fee, living costs and scholarship. At UG level, your tuition fee will range somewhere between 12 to 35,000 Canadian dollar per annum on an average. In Indian rupee, that will be 7 to 20 lakh. At PG level, the fees will range between 15 to 40,000 Canadian dollar per annum, which will be roughly around 9 to 23 lakh rupees. Diploma programs and colleges will be cheaper, and universities and degrees will be expensive. 
if you are looking at cheaper universities then i will recommend you to look at universities in atlantic canada alberta saskatchewan and manitoba they will be cheaper than most options in ontario and british columbia for living cost you can estimate somewhere between 10 to 15 thousand dollars or 6 to 9 lakh rupee depending on your lifestyle many colleges and institution also offer scholarship ranging between 2000 dollars to full tuition fee waiver but do note that these scholarships are extremely competitive and early applications are advised now let's head towards student visa application for student visa application you will require all your education documents work experience documents if any CV, completed application form, letter of acceptance, one year full fee deposit receipts, photographs, biometrics, SOP, a medical test that costs five to six thousand rupees, and a GIC or guaranteed income certificate account. You can open a GIC with CIBC, Scotia Bank or ICICI Bank Canada and deposit $10,200 that you can take out in monthly installments once you are in Canada. Ideally, I would recommend you to start applying for your visa two months before your course start date as it may take up to six to seven weeks for your student visa to be processed. Next, we have part-time jobs and post-study work visas. The regulations are pretty simple, 20 hours during term time and 40 hours during your vacation. But until December 2023, you can work over 20 hours during your term time as well. Do note that this is a temporary relaxation. However, on-campus jobs do not have 20 hours work restriction. Part-time jobs can pay anywhere between 15 to 20 dollars per hour. And if you choose co-op option, you can earn more to support yourself. Talking about post-study work visa, if you are pursuing a course that is at least a one-year program, then you get a one-year post-study work visa. If you pursue a program that lasts two years or more, you get a post-study work visa of three years. Also for post-study work visa, make sure your college or university is DLI that is Designated Learning Institution and supports postgraduate work permits. We hope that this video answers most of your doubt while planning Canada as your study abroad destination. But if you want to skip all these manual efforts, you can reach out to our experts by clicking at the link in the description box below. I'll see you next time. But hey, before you leave, make sure you subscribe to our channel.